Hello YouTube, this is MacDaddy 1911A1 with Shade Tree Survivalist. Uh, viewer requested here a few months ago, or maybe it was just a few weeks ago, wanted me to do some concealed carry uh, handgun videos, and I have not had the opportunity until this week. Now this week, uh, I'm down here in uh, southwest Georgia, in Albany, Georgia, with some friends, and we're, we are going to do a short series of videos on various methods of concealed carry and I'm going to start the video off just to say thanks for the comment of the viewer I'm sorry I forgot your uh, username but uh, we appreciate the comments and uh, this is a response to your request for those uh, concealed carry videos the first one I'm going to demonstrate is one I prefer uh, because I'm so dang I'm skinny okay when you're skinny your body does not lend itself to carrying a large handgun and because I believe in shooting a dude or do that one time, and one time only knocking them down, I carry a large handgun, which is a 1911 A145. I carry it in the spine, okay, right dead in the center, rear, right here in the back. And if, you know, I'm pretty much at relaxed, you really can't tell I've got it. But as you can well see, there it is, full size 1911, government model, okay. You can hide it fairly easy like that. The holster I've got, it's not really an expensive holster, but it uh, protects your spine and it, it uh, helps conceal it unless you got your, your clothing packed in, your pants, which is not really going to work anyway. But in order to draw from this concealed carry position, you're going to have to get the clothing out of the way. And a modified hackathon rip, instead of reaching in to, down to your side, you'll reach behind you to pull the garment out of the way as you reach for the handgun. And then you withdraw it out and go to battery and be on target. Um, another thing about this type of holster that I really like, you can turn the gun around the other way just as easily and you use weekend. Or if you're wounded before you even know you're in the fight, you can, you know, okay, it's set up for strong hand Get your strong hand wounded. All you do is reach under, turn the gun, or just grab it that way. Either way, pull it straight out, and then you can go rock and roll. Unfortunately for my handgun, it's, it's not ambidextrous safety on it. It only has it on the strong hand side. I mean, for use with the strong hand thumb. However, if I'm drawing it out, I can just use my trigger finger to knock it, rock it right down, and then I'm at, you know, I can go to work. If the handgun is not in battery, and I've had to draw it out. I get the safety off. I just simply work it like that, which I only had one snap cap in here. So, of course, it locked back. That's what it's designed to do. But the, that's the one, one of the great advantages. It's easily, you can easily use, you know, get the gun out strong hand or we can. You can get it out from under your clothing unless it's really heavy. And uh, you can also weak hand reload and strong hand reload, the same as you will see demonstrated later by a friend of ours. 